All right, everybody, welcome to the video here for lesson number one in unit number eight. So unit number eight is all about coordinate geometry and how we can use coordinate geometry to prove things and uh, a bunch of different things, kind of almost like an extension of what you've learned in eighth and ninth grade math. So in the first lesson, what we did was we, we learned a new form of the equation of a line called point-slope form. And this is going to allow us to do some things a little bit easier for geometry, because a lot of things in geometry are not necessarily going to require us to know the y-intercept, but just know what point a line passes through. So here's a first question. It gives us the slope, which is going to be the m of the equation, and it gives us a point, which is the x1 and the y1. So in this equation for um, point slope form, we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This equation is not on the reference table. It's something you should just know, just like y equals mx plus b. Now, one of the things that we notice is when the point has negative values, when I input them into the equation, they become positive. So they're always kind of opposite, which is why the negatives are in the general form. So when I plug this all in, I'm going to have y plus 5, because the y value is negative 5, equals 1 fourth negative of x plus 4. This is the equation of the line. And this is in what we call point slope form. Now, if the question asks us to find this in y equals mx plus b form, which is called slope-intercept form, what we'd have to do is do some algebra. So the y plus 5 would stay the same. The negative 1 fourth gets distributed. And then we can subtract 6 from both sides. And we get y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 7. This is what we call slope intercept form. Now, the nice thing about this lesson is I know um, for some of you th this might be an easy lesson. They're not going to ask a question like this on the Regents exam, right? It's not going to say find the equation of line and pass through this point with this slope. It's going to be more complex than that. So that's what we'll actually be doing in lesson number two. But this is just the beginnings of it. This is a building block lesson. So let's take a look at number two. Number two gives us two points and asks us to find the equation. So the first thing we have to do is find the slope. So the slope is to say the change in the y value, so negative 1 minus negative 2, all over negative 7 minus negative 9. If you notice in the homework questions, I put lots of negatives to make sure that you understand how to use the signs. So if you look at the difference here, so we wind up having a 1 in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator. So the slope of this line is just one half. So when I plug into my equation, I can choose either of these two points. It doesn't matter which one. Since everything has negatives in it, I'll just choose the first one. So we'll say y plus 2 is equal to one half times x plus 9. This is a perfectly acceptable equation of a line, and if you just did that, you would get 100 on this question. You'd be perfect. But if you went one step further and you wanted to foot, put it into the other form of the equation of a line, you could distribute the one half. 4.5 is a nice decimal, so we use decimals here. They're easier to use whenever possible. Remember, don't use decimals if they're repeating decimals, because that's not an exact answer. And if we keep doing our algebra, we get the other equation of a line. Either one of those are right. It all just depends on how it's asked. The next question gives us a graph, just like the one that we did in class. And the points that are on this graph are um, negative 9, positive 7. I can see that point on there. Um, I'm going to have um, negative 5, positive 4. I'm going to have negative 1, positive 1. And we can start to see a pattern forming. We're going to have 3, negative 2 and 7, negative 5. So I can see I'm almost like dividing this up into equal portions. So if we look at slope, slope, remember, is the rise over the run. So this goes down 3 to the right 4. So the slope of this line 
is negative 3 over 4. I know it's going to be a negative slope line because from left to right it goes down. Then all I have to do to write the equation of this line is pick a point out of all of the points that are there. So I'm going to pick the point 7, negative 5. Why? Because it was the first one. It doesn't matter. So if we write the equation, it's going to be y plus 5 is equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 7. This is in point slope form. So that's one of the two answers because they did want in both forms. Then if we do some distributing, I get y plus 5 is equal to negative 3 fourths x. Double negative makes that a plus. And I'm going to wind up getting 21 over 4. 21 over 4 or 5.25. If I do the math in my calculator, that's what I'll get. I can either leave the decimal or change it to a fraction. If I then subtract 5 from both sides, I get y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 0.25. Then I want to look at my graph for a second and say, does that make sense to have a y-intercept of 0.25? It does. If I look at where my y-intercept is, it's really uh, a small number, right? So there's your y-intercept. So there's your answer. Hopefully this video helps and uh, we will talk more about this tomorrow. Bye.